송고집 Once upon a time, in o n g j i n g o l there lived a man called o n g o j i p He was wealthy enough to support his family without working, but he never had a minute of rest because of his nasty, suspicious nature. He did not trust anyone and always thought he was being cheated or deceived. Ah! What are the servants doing? What if they're taking a nap because I'm not there to watch them? Hey! Dulce! u n g o j i p would not leave his servants in peace and kept thinking of new orders to give them to make sure they were working. But master, the yard has already been washed clean by the rain. Why must it be swept out again? Do as I say. If you depend on the rain to do your work for you, you are nothing but a parasite who wastes my food. <laughs> When you have finished sweeping the yard, get a basket and pump out water from the pond so it doesn't flood. Master, the pond has already been taken care of. It will not flood regardless of how much it rains. Do you want to starve today, you insolent rascal? Oh, uh, no, sir. I'll do as you say. c h u n d a n have you milked your ice c r e a m Oh. Surely I am the unluckiest man in the world to be stuck with such a cruel master. The servants were very miserable because u n g o j i would frequently starve them for nothing. One day, a monk came to visit u n g o j i p s house. Surprised and nervous, Torse ran to meet him. Oh, oh, please, leave immediately before my master sees you. Torse was concerned for the monk because he knew how his master would behave if he saw him. Torse! Torse! May Buddha watch over you. Oh, another of those false monks! I came from the nearby temple to collect donations. Donations? Come to demand free food, have you? Well, get out of my house at once, you beggar! Uh, oh no! Please forgive my master. I'm so sorry. What? That's not enough to get you out of my sight, <clears throat> huh? Well. <clears throat> out, beggar! Out, I say! Get out! Uh, I'm so sorry. Please come this way. Uh, Hurry. That's better. <laughs> 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 In fact, that particular monk was widely renowned for his piety and extraordinary abilities. He had heard tales of Ungojip's cruelty and had come to see for himself and form his own opinion. I see he is just as ill-tempered as I heard. He is the most horrid man I have met. That night, the monk resolved to teach Ungojip a lesson he would never forget. He created a magic amulet and placed it inside a straw scarecrow. As the amulet began to burn, a strange transformation occurred. Now, go at once to o n g o c h i p s mansion. Uh, oh, are you up already, Master? s w e e p the yard. Fake o n g o j i p had the exact same voice, appearance, and bearing as the real o n g o j i p and even his servant Torse could not tell the difference. That morning, the real o n g o j i p was furious because his breakfast was late. Yeah, where are my servants? Why aren't they serving breakfast? Um, Chundan! Chundan! Who are you? How dare you impersonate me and steal my place? Oh my husband, what is going on here? Which is my real father? Oh. Huh? What are you talking about? The real o n g o j i p was confused and intimidated by fake o n g o j i p s confidence. 
What do you mean? You are pretending to be me to steal my property. Well, I won't let you. I won't, I say. What? I'm pretending? This is ridiculous. I can't believe this is happening to me. The two Ongojips fought and argued over who was real and who was the imposter. I am the real Ongojip. No, I am the real Ongojip. It's me. No, it's me! How dare you! Each Ongojip insisted you? that he was the real one. The family was confused because they looked so identical. It was impossible to tell the difference. I have two husbands now. How could this be happening? Uh, I don't know which is my real father. Well, my son has a mole on his lap. Uh, that's true. Well, when my wife sleeps, she snores once, grinds her teeth twice, and then snores again! Uh, is that true, Mother? Well, yes, it is true, uh, I guess. I am real and you are fake! No, I am real and you are fake! No, I am real! No, I am real! No, I am real! 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 It seemed the argument would go on forever, so the family had to come up with a solution. Oh, I have a plan. Why don't we all go talk to the governor? He is wise and will help us figure out this dilemma. Very well. Let's go. This really is a challenging situation. Governor, I am the real Ongojib. He is an imposter. All right. Listen to me, both of you. Whoever answers my question correctly must be the real Ongojib. Understood? Okay. How many bowls and spoons do you have in your house? And what are the kinds and numbers of your livestock? At that, the real Ongojib's heart sank. He realized that he had not memorized these things about his household. The false Ongojib, however, stepped forward with confidence. Everyone knows how careful and miserly I am, so naturally I know the answer. I have five cows, 30 chickens, and 12 pigs. I have 37 spoons, three unpaired chopsticks, and two horses, and some cattle over there. And a few After fake Ongojib listed all of the household goods with perfect accuracy, the governor turned to the real one. What is your answer? Well, I have about um, five cows, maybe, or um, ten pigs or so, but, um... Aha! You are the imposter! But, but, Governor! How dare you try to steal another man's identity and property with your false tricks? Wait, Governor! I'm real! I swear! I swear! Take him away and punish him for his lies. Then banish him from the village! Yes, sir! No, Governor, no! Please! You have to believe me! My wife, do so! Son, help me! Help me! The real Ongojib was thrown out of the village. He knew he was real, however, and could not give up so easily. He snapped back into the village. I will get you, you fake. <laughs> <laughs> I will get you, I promise. Uh, hey, you! How dare you return to this house? Get out, you rascal! Haven't you been punished enough? Hey. Ouch! Oh, stop! Don't say! It's me! Don't you recognize your master? Get out of here at once! If I see you again, I will beat you with this! But don't say, I'm your real master! Please! In one night, Ongojip had lost his house, his family, and all his wealth, and was left alone and homeless. He did not even have any friends to turn to, because he had never helped anyone in his life. 
Oh, what did I do to deserve this? It's not fair! It's not fair! <laughs> <laughs> now I understand how the poor suffer. If I had felt the horrors of cold and hunger before, <coughs> I would have shared my wealth and helped those less fortunate than myself. I regret my behavior now, but it is too late. I will die homeless and alone. Oh, no. <laughs> Have you repented your actions? Sir? What if I gave you your wealth and family back? What would you do? I would be so different. <laughs> I would never be greedy again, and I would share my wealth and property with the needy. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. You can go home now. Hmm. When Ongojib returned home, he saw that fake Ongojib had turned back into straw. <laughs> From that day on, he was a different man. He volunteered to help the villagers, was a kind master to his servants, and lived happily ever after with his family. The Prince and the Pauper The Ugly Duckling Rapunzel The Emperor's New Clothes The Bremen Town Musicians The Happy Prince Heidi, Girl of the Alps Nobody's Boy The Wizard of Oz The Last Leaf <laughs>